Before I can insert my new mold ribs into my snowboard mold, I need to deconstruct it because currently it's set up for my last snowboard build. I start by scraping out epoxy crust and vacuuming it out. As you can see here, my snowboard mold sits in a wooden tub that I've constructed out of MDF fiberboard and 2x4s. On the edges, I've got metal rails and I've got carriage bolts mounted upside down all along the rails. These carriage bolts push the surface of my snowboard mold onto my mold ribs. With the surface of my mold clean, I unbolt the rails from the edges of the tub. After removing all four rails, I'm ready to lift off the polycarbonate surface of my snowboard mold. Underneath the surface I have a flexible spine made of wooden lath. These thin strips of wood are stapled to aluminum window screen. I roll up and remove the lath spine to gain access to the mold ribs. There are a total of four mold ribs in my mold, and the outer two are bolted to the walls of my tub-style snowboard mold. The inner mold ribs are held in slots and are screwed into place, using wooden screws and L-brackets. I start by removing these first. Constructing a modular snowboard mold for yourself such as this one makes it really easy for you to change snowboard profile shapes and also minimizes waste because you need so few snowboard mold ribs. After removing the screws from both ends I can slide out the inner snowboard mold ribs. Now it's time to begin unbolting and removing the outer snowboard mold ribs. With the old mold ribs removed, I can begin attaching my new snowboard mold ribs for this project. I start with the outer mold ribs. I insert the rib along the outer wall and then clamp it into place. With the mold rib clamped into place, I can drill through the existing holes into the mold rib so that I can bolt it to the wall. I reinsert the bolts, tighten them, and then move on to the other side, where I repeat the process.
Once the outer mold ribs are attached, I insert the inner mold ribs into their slots and screw them into place using the L brackets and wooden screws. After all of my mold ribs have been installed, I use a straight edge to make sure that they are all lined up properly. I then replace the flexible wooden spine, and I take a printout of my snowboard shape, and I set it on top of the spine. I will use this printout to properly align my snowboard when I lay it up inside the snowboard mold. I first use a carpenter square to make sure that my printout is an equal distance away from the wall from nose to tail. I then stick my printout to the flexible wood spine using packing tape. Now I scoot the spine back and forth along the mold ribs to make sure that the elevation points for my nose and tail are exactly where they need to be. I then place my mold surface back over the wooden spine. The next step is to take the rails with the carriage bolts and bolt them back into place. With all of the rails in place, I tighten down the carriage bolts to complete assembly of my snowboard mold.